and welcome to Keynes Cove. We're going to carry on making the Foss scale model printer's row kit and this particular build is the plate makers. To start with I've braced and then stained all of the wooden parts and my previous videos show you how to do this. And then I start to paint the clapboards and I've used a ready brown colour here. As you can see, I hardly use any paint at all and it's fine to have lots of gaps so that the brown stain shows through the paint. This is because, if for my build, I want it to look old and dilapidated. To give it that peeled paint look, what I do is take a small piece of sponge and again, hardly using any paint, just dab it all over the structure. This gives the impression of the paint peeling away. So here are all the pieces painted and that includes the side trim as well. Once the acrylic paint was dry, I used the Ammo Streaking Grime to put a wash all the way over it and it just toned the colour down. I use a brown spray paint to do all of the window frames and the doors. And again, using the sponge technique, I'm just lightly sponging on an off-white colour, again to give that look of the paint is peeling off. Here I'm using the same sponge technique. To get that depth of colour, I use lots of different shades of the same colour. So here I'm using white, off-white and cream, letting the colours dry in between and it just gives that real depth. The bottom of this building is made from card and it's really simple to put together. The windows and doors in this build are from the Titchy Train Group. The really great thing with these is that the glazing comes pre-cut. I use tacky glue for sticking in the windows. What I find it's easier to put the windows in first and then add the glazing afterwards. painted the corner trim a grey colour and now I'm just cutting it to fit the sides. Remember the ground floor of this building was made from card and so what I do now is make up this paste that came with the kit. It's kind of a gluey, sticky mixed powder mixture and gently stipple that on. This gives the impression that it's been rendered. This dries really quickly and once it is dry you can use sandpaper just to give it the smoothness that you want. And here I've just given it a quick wash of grey paint. An internal floor didn't come with this kit, 
but I just felt it needed some extra strengthening. It also gives me something to attach the lights to later on, so I just cut and fit that. Next, I'm just using some ammo shaders just to do some dry brushing to give the effect of some streaks down the side of the render. Now I've joined both pieces together, the card, rendered base and the clapboard on the top. I have a separate video on how to make a tar paper roof, but very simply, it's black card and I've lightly sprayed grey car primer onto it, then I cut it into one centimetre strips. I then roughen the edges with some sandpaper to make it look like the tar paper is starting to degenerate. I use Mod Podge matte glue here because it's a bit runnier than tacky glue and it allows me to move the bits of card around and I just layer them over the top like a normal roof would look like. And using my trusty Dremel, I just make some small pilot holes for the various chimneys and flues that are attached. The ground floor of this building has got windows on all four sides I don't want the viewer to be able to look straight through the building, so I've made this card structure out of black cardboard um, and placed it inside so that when you look through the window, you can't see all the way through. I drilled a little hole for the light. I use Woodland Scenics plug and play lights for my layout, and I've painted the whole of the inside black so that I get no light bleed. I did a search on Google for some plate layers and found this wonderful photograph. So I've printed that out and I've glued it inside the building so that when the light's on and you look through the window, it actually looks like the plate makers are there doing their work. And here's the completed building. If you like my videos, I'd really appreciate it if you could just press that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but what it means is you'll get an alert when my videos are released. Here you can see I've now joined both of these buildings that are part of Printer's Row together. They're gonna to look really great on Keen's Cove. Keep watching the videos for the latest update.